Let the peace, love, and blessing of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. The new order, everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Second Corinthians chapter seventeen, verse. Second Corinthians chapter three, verses seventeen to eighteen. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image. From glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Second lesson, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 8. Thou shalt put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. Golden text, Hebrews chapter 9, verses 27 to 28. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment, so Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Quote, Beloved, this gospel is a familiar topic. It is about the peace and joy brought to mankind. Wherever the Holy Spirit is, there must be peace, joy, happiness, hope, togetherness, and light. Beloved, the Holy Spirit is very unique. He does not like problems, fighting or quarreling. He always he is always kind, gentle, peaceful and loving. What the Holy Spirit has brought to mankind is love and joy. This accounts for my familiar slogan, my peace I give unto you. It is only peace and joy that I came to give mankind. Let this peace and love reign over you. Do not fight or quarrel anymore. Do not seek the mundane things of this world. Seek peace and joy. Your position and religion of and your position and religious affiliation are secondary. The primary concern of the Holy Spirit is your joy and peace. The will of the Holy Spirit is that you live in peace and harmony with your brethren. There is an adage which says that the tune of a bird is sweet only when it has not been caught by a bullet. You are going around making noise and bragging of your wealth forgetting that the end has come. This is not the time that you should be blowing trumpet about your wealth. The fact that you tend not to to be aware of is that materialism is soon passing for vanity. My appeal to you is to change your your good. My appeal to you is to change for good because the judgment day is at hand. Do away with the old leaven and put on the new one which is love peace and joy god does not need your money the only thing he needs from you is love and peace it is likely that you do not know that love is the greatest before god beloved the kingdom of god is not eating and merrymaking it is love peace and joy read the first lesson again First lesson, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 17 to 18. Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. 
but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord. When you are endowed with all the material benefits of this world but lack peace, what shall it benefit to you? Beloved, there are two significant things awaiting everybody in this life. One is everlasting life and the other is everlasting torment. What shall it be? What shall it benefit you if you own the entire world? But at last you see yourself in everlasting hellfire? And what shall it not benefit you if you suffer tribulation but at last see yourself rejoicing in everlasting life? This is not a case of father give me the motor car, give me the wife, husband and food etc. This is the issue of love and peace. It is about living in peace with one another. What I have brought to my beloved children is love, peace and joy. That is why I always say, my peace I give unto you. What the Holy Spirit uses in conquering all the battles are love and peace. He does not struggle for anything. Love and peace do not, en do not entail struggling. All the things you are doing here, the singing and dancing, are not important. What is needed here is only love, peace and joy. Christ had already told us that God is spirit, love and peace. It has been emphasized that those worshipping God should worship Him in spirit and in truth. The fact remains that there was a spirit in existence when heaven and earth were made. God cannot be seen in any other perspective besides the fact that he is a spirit. John the Divine confirms that God is love. The Holy Spirit at this last dispensation has affirmed that God is peace. These testimonies inform our greetings to one another. Peace in brotherhood. Beloved, wherever there is God, there is peace. Whosoever has God has peace. Whosoever has peace has the kingdom of God. If the peace of God is not in you, you are bound to suffer. But when you have the peace of God, all your life is love, peace, joy, relaxation and comfort in the mind of every point in time. Beloved, the kingdom of God is peace. Money, car, house, shoes, clothes, wife or husband, etc. are not considered in the kingdom of God. The children of God have no time for them. What the children of God are after is this peace, love, truth and joy and the kingdom of God. Therefore, if you are not identified with all those things, where is your place in the kingdom of God? You cannot purchase them in the market. Rather, it is within you, beloved. Since we have been waiting for the kingdom of God, which has come down for the children of God, let us now live, in, live a peaceful life with one another. Let us be truthful and trustworthy. Let us live a blameless life before God. What has eluded man is the realization of the fact that man is a replica of God. And if God is love and peace, man should equally be an embodiment of love and peace. God is made up of love and peace. And once you recognize him, you have no problems in life. Once you feel his impact, you are in everlasting joy. God is visible and invisible. Man is a manifestation of God. Therefore, when you say you are not worshipping man, how will you be able to see God? 
He has come down to dwell with man. Everything is aware of his presence. The trees, the birds, the leaves, the fishes, the angels, etc. are aware of his presence and they are glorifying him. This is the time it has pleased the Father to manifest his glory and there is nothing anyone can do about it. God is love, peace, joy, hope, truth, meekness and all the virtues. If you are lacking in these qualities, then you are very far from the kingdom of God. Wherever there is God, there is righteousness. What you do here sometimes demonstrate your ignorance of the presence of God in our midst. In his physical form, none of you can stand before God. He is too wonderful, therefore you cannot understand him. What you are talking about here and there, that God is this or that, you are passing comments on what you do not know. None of you have seen him. God is love. Whosoever has seen God must be loving and peaceful. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson, Hebrew chapter 2, verse 8. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. God is man. Everything in heaven and earth is under the control of man. This saying that you will not worship man is rather surprising. Can a tree provide your needs? God is the form of a human being and as such human beings are love and peace. Christ said, let my peace be unto you. Therefore, when you say that you are not going to worship man, you are not in this life. Everything around you is from either human or obtained from man. If you look at God as being physically significantly different from man, then you have not come to self-realization. And if you are still naive in the ways of God, you are far away from the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is peace and love. Beloved, God has no other shape or form. God is physically like man. The other aspect of God is that is God is that God is love and peace. If you have not been regarding man, you have made a great mistake. Therefore, from today that you have begotten this knowledge live in peace with your brethren and love everybody as yourself be calm and patient with everybody do not speak evil words against somebody when you cannot do all these things you are driving away the holy spirit in you if you have something give it to your brother do not be stingy when you have something and do not share it with your brother the spirit of god in you will worry you everybody is your brother muslims and christians who claim to worship god have not allowed peace to reign in the world the muslims are complaining of how christians are fighting against them the christians are also complaining the same how many of them are keeping the injunctions of God? Beloved, what God needs from you is peace. He does not need your money, your food, your clothes, or car, etc. The universal slogan is, live and let live. Jehovah God, which is Christ, has come. All those who have been waiting patiently for his coming, 
must continue to abide in peace, in love and joy because the time for the manifestation of his glory is nigh. Let it not take you unaware. The children of God have no business with the mundane things of this world. Theirs is love, peace and joy. God is here on earth. Therefore, there is no need for you to go to the moon, to the sun, to the sea, into the valley and mountain in search of him. What is left for you is living in peace, in love and happiness with all the creations of God. Beloved, peace has come to dwell with man. His impact is being felt throughout the universe. The magnetic field has overshadowed the whole of Calabar. It is the work of God that the effort and the kiosk can sit together and eat from the same table. If you survey the history of the existence of these two groups, you will see that they have always been incompatible. By the special grace of God, these groups have come to a consensus to jointly do that which will bring lasting peace and joy to them. It is wonderful. Our mandate, a city divided against itself cannot stand. United we stand, divided we fall. Hence, you are mandated to go and make the whole world to be one. Sometimes your prayers are not answered because you are not united in love. While you would be praying for a car, your brother would be praying for just enough food to keep him alive. How can it be possible for your request to be granted when your requests are at variance? Sometimes your request would contradict another request. While your brother is praying for long life, you are begging God to kill him. God is a loving God. He cannot rob Peter to pay Paul. God is the God of justice. Very soon, the Father will open your eyes so that you can see the beautiful essence of loving everybody. The Spirit of God can so come into you that you become a changed man. When this happens, you will almost remain silent to everything that happens around you. Let us come together as one. Let us share everything in common so that, we'll, so that we will be able to receive the glory that was destined for us before the foundations of the world were laid. God has nothing to do with division and segregation. Why Christ fed 5,000 people? God does not want any of his creations to perish. That was why when Christ fed 5,000 people with two fishes and five loaves, he told his disciples to gather the remnants. That happened to show that God cares for his people. There is one God, one Spirit, one body, one soul, one man, and one woman. God has come to unite them into one fold. The Christians do not believe that God has come. They would readily frown at God marrying and having children. To this group, God will only come down from the sky. And if he does not, then he is not God. That is the extent to which the Christian limited understanding of God can take them. When it comes to the ways of God, these people are myopic, if not completely blind. 
what they are looking forward to will never happen. The coming of the Holy Spirit. The Muslims are even more sensible because they are aware of the coming of the Holy Spirit. They believe in God even more than the self-acclaimed Christians. The Muslims believe that when God will come, he will marry and have children. They also believe that when God comes, he will gather everybody into one fold. Hence, I told you that I have other sheep outside who are not in this sheepfold. I will bring them. When they come, they will hear my voice and they will become one flock under one shepherd. Go into the vineyard and seek those who are still outside. Beloved, all of us are one in our Lord Jesus Christ. There is no need for division, fighting, quarreling among the children of God. Give peace a chance. Everybody is brotherhood. The fish, the ants, the birds, the, the, the millipedes, the centipedes. The toads, the frogs, the antelopes, the cows, the goats, the cats, the dogs, and all other things you can think of are brotherhood. For this reason, do not kill or harm them. God is going to bring everything together. He has come to unite the world. The sick, the dead, the living, the less privileged, the downtrodden, the poor, the one-legged, the white, the black, the short, the tall, and any other thing you can think of are the great concern of our God. He has been on his mind. He has them on his mind. And to protect and provide for them, is his preoccupation at the end he will make all to be one fold under one shepherd brotherhood is not a church it is the kingdom of god and his christ established on earth the teachings received in brotherhood of christ and star are celestial it has nothing to do with the mundane and carnal teachings of the world. The principles under which we operate are love, peace, and joy. Our assignment, beloved, what Christ had told his disciples is what I am telling you now. You should go and make the entire world to become one by telling everybody to live in peace. Propagate peaceful coexistence by telling them about this great light that is shining in the world. Teach them morals by showing them the examples. Show them these examples by stopping fornication. Live a righteous life so that they may see the light of God in you. God has come to take those who have been waiting for him. Continue to live in peace with your brethren. Share everything with your brethren. Do not call division. Remember that a tree cannot make a forest. You cannot clap one hand. Africa, America, Europe, Asia, and the entire world is one. The whites are claiming that they are developed. What is development? Where can development take them? What has development got to do with love, peace, and unity? Since they claimed to be developed, have they found peace in their lives? There is nowhere one can find peace except in brotherhood. Hence, when you say peace to a non-baptized brotherhood, he or she will retort, peace to your mother. This happens because he or she has no peace. 
Beloved, go and spread this good tidings to all nooks and crannies of the world. Do not say that someone is not a brotherhood. Everybody is brotherhood. Call a spade a spade. There is no other duty for you than this work of peace. Forget about the issue of being a Muslim or a Christian. Forget about the issue of being born again and not being born again. The entire world is one. The death of Christ has brought peace into the entire world. Therefore, do not manufacture problems for yourself. Forget about the issue of money. Forget about the issue of being top making. Forget about the issue of being top ranking in the society. There is no peace in these things. You may be endowed with all the mundane things of this world, but if you have no peace, it profits you nothing. Sell all your belongings and follow God. Read the golden text again. Golden text, Hebrews chapter 9, verses 27 to 28. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment, so Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation, the second coming. Beloved, we have been told that Christ has died and resurrected, he will come again, and when he comes, he will not die again. Rather, he will come and take unto himself those who are practicing his injunction. He is not coming to die again. He is not coming to have any connection with the sinful people. He is coming to take unto himself those who are living in peace, in love, and joy with one another. He is already here on earth. Hence, you are told to be prepared for the day of the Lord cometh like a thief in the night. Beloved, you are not supposed to wait for somebody to come and tell you to get prepared, for you are all aware of the presence of the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit has come to you. Night is chosen children who have been waiting patiently for him. He did not deceive and will never deceive. The Holy Spirit has come to save the entire world. Therefore, if you perish, your blood will be upon you. I have explained everything to you. Everybody is aware of this truth. The Muslims, the Christians, the Rosicrucians, the Echists, and others are aware of the presence of the Holy Spirit personified. All the principalities are under his rulership. This is the right time for everybody to forsake the world and follow Christ. There is no gain in saying. I am a Christian or I am a Muslim. There is no gain in saying I am a Jew, Jew priest. For this reason, I am not a brotherhood. Everybody is brotherhood. The Muslims have, st have started. The Muslims have started coming here in great numbers. Some of them are finding one way or the other to spread the, this good tidings to the entire world, to the entire Muslim world. That is why when you go to the Everlasting Gospel Center, you will see some of them trying to translate the Father's Gospel into Arabic, Fulani and Hasya languages. It is a thing of joy. To all the inhabitants of the world, he has come and has already started selecting his elects. Therefore, 
it is not a thing of belonging to this or that church. He has come to unite every creation of God. Do away with all evil tendencies. Beloved, since we have been waiting to see his glory, we have to be perfect in all ramifications. That is the message I have for you. I shall not be tears with you. A stroke of the cane is enough for the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the entire world. May the Lord bless his holy teachings. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.